Hey guys, hope you're having a good weekend. Just had to check in. Man, we talked about the debate on Friday. We're not going to get into that again now. But leading up to the debate, there had been an extensive lib. Basically the whole week, Biden said, I'm not talking about anything, presumably for debate prep. But I think a lot of us also think it has to do with this Hunter Biden scandal, which really is turning out to be a Joe Biden scandal that they refuse to talk about, the mainstream media refuses to talk about. And today another lid was put on. We are nine days out from the election, and we have got a candidate who refuse. Look, even again, even if you do not like President Trump, that's not what I'm trying to push you into doing. I wish that you would. I wish that you would vote for America, uh, and, and that's what I think in this particular election in 2020, that's what a vote for President Trump is, uh, whether you like him or not. You cannot vote for this guy because, guys, this is, this is someone who refuses to tell you answers on some of the most significant issues that are being discussed right now. They won't even say where he stands on it. Just, you'll figure it out. We'll tell you after the election. How many times have we heard that? And then, and then we'll not own up to this. Everything is looking more and more damning. There's other people. Tom Cotton was talking to someone in the mainstream media. He was saying, well, other folks have not corroborated this story, which is why they're not running it, which is a weak answer. But even, look, even if all of this fell apart and turned out not to be what a lot of people on the right, myself included, wish it would be what it would be described as and that it would take Joe Biden down and remove him from this equation. Even if it wasn't that, though, even if, if you took this all out and said, look, it's, it's not real, it's not actual, it's not happening, then just come out and say that. I, do, I don't get how people can can say, I just dislike President Trump so much that I'm going to vote for this guy, even if he won't answer questions, even if there's this massive scandal that could be one of the biggest we've seen in a long, long time, and he won't even address it other than saying it's a smear. It's not true. Like, that's not good enough. That's not good enough when you're, when you're in court, and I know he's not in court, but, but you're in the, the, the court of public opinion nine days from a presidential election of which you are running to become president. It blows my mind that there is nothing... Nothing still being said about this in the mainstream media, even if, okay, we can't corroborate it, but there are reports that this is happening. There are reports. It is being discussed. We are working on determining what we believe is true, what we believe is not true. There's just no communication on it, though. And that's not okay. It should not be okay with anyone. It should not settle well. And I'm telling you, if you flip the script, if you flip the script, which is basically what we've gone through, albeit... Biden stuff looks real. None of the stuff that they threw at Trump over the last four years was real. But if you flip the script and this was true, this would be going absolutely bananas. The media would be losing their minds. We'd have new <laughs> impeachment cases. We'd have new everything going on. And you know what? If, if there was credible, damning information, I would say Trump, GOP, White House, everyone, you've got to own up to this. You've got to say how this is true, how this is not true, show data, and ease the, the minds and, and hearts of the people out there. But they're not doing it. They're not doing it for Joe. No one's talking about this except for us, people on this channel, people on fellow conservative talk show host channels. But it's not going anywhere further than that. And it's really, it's really depressing. It's really depressing just less than two weeks out, less than 10 days out from this election to have this big of a thing just it's like it's, it's like it's not even happened. It's not, it's not there. Just forget it's there. Just forget about all the crimes that he may or may not have committed. Let's just move on. We don't like Trump. Who cares about this? That's unacceptable. Everyone should see it as unacceptable. And the fact that he is just hiding again is unacceptable. It shows further that they think they have this system rigged, that they don't actually need to go out and campaign because they also know what's the point of going to campaign? No one shows up. No one likes the guy. Yesterday, he was out there calling us chumps. Trump supporters showed up, which they're entitled to do. They were loud. There's more of them than there were Biden supporters. He called them chumps, called us, you, me, chumps. Meanwhile, Kamala Harris is doing this. You are going to make the decision about your future, about your family's future. It is through the voice of your vote. And you have the power. The power is with the people. And you know that. That's why you're standing in this line today. And I just came to say thank you. Now, I'm pretty sure, and I'm, I'm no expert, but I'm pretty sure that's some form of electioneering. Pretty sure it's wrong. Shouldn't be at a polling place showing up. 
But it shows, again, that these people don't care about the rules. They don't care about common courtesies. They don't care about what's right and wrong. They care about themselves. They care about appearing to care about you and the people writ large, which their, their, their track records, their history, all show that they don't. They're very much into power. They're very much into themselves. And this still, nine days away, is the ticket that they are running. Someone who won't go out in jail. Someone who no one is excited about. And someone like Cam Cam, who's going out and cheering on and encouraging and thanking people at the polling place. We got, we got to do better. If anyone has got real, strong, solid information beyond what we already have, and there's some good stuff coming out, but if anyone has got that, bring it out now. For the love of God, bring it out now. Make it so clear that you cannot deny it, that you cannot keep it out of the mainstream media, that you can't... Uh, something's got to be done. Something's got to be done, folks. One thing that you can do, whether we win or lose this election, I know it's a nasty thought to think about us losing, but one thing you can do to help President Trump get reelected in these next 10 days and, and continue on cherishing those values, Second Amendment, our faith, the constitutional republic that we have and our forefathers built for us, one of the things you can do is you can join Mammoth Nation. Head on over there. It's mammothnation.com. It's, an, it's a conservative discount club. It's better than donating to a PAC or a candidate. You get amazing discounts on wireless travel, internet, insurance, all sorts of stuff, stuff that you're already going to buy. So head on over there. They, they put a huge emphasis on helping conservatives win, on helping conservatives stay in office, get into office for the first time. They care about this country, guys. They really do. I wouldn't work with them if they didn't. They're great people. They care about making a difference. This is not about money for them. This is about giving you services and helping our country stay on track. So head on over to mammothnation.com. It's just $19 a year. You're going to earn that back with your first purchase and the discount that you make on it. Share it away. Tell your friends about it. Tell your family about it. All this is stuff that you're going to buy anyways. So why not get a discount on it and help the GOP help President Trump get reelected. We thank you for listening today. Thanks for putting up with my, my Sunday rant. Look forward to seeing you on the show this week. Some great shows planned. Tons of stuff going on. We are in a, we are in a race, guys. It is right down to the finish. This election is coming. It's going to be a big one, and we'll be with you every step of the way. Have a great rest of your weekend. Talk to you soon. Mammoth Nation is the discount club for conservatives. You get great discounts on name brand products and services, and the proceeds help candidates who support the right causes. Plus, the money you save from just one purchase can pay for your entire membership. Liberal Democrats are destroying America, and we can't let Joe Biden be president. It's time to join the fight. Strength in numbers. We give the silent majority a resounding voice. Go to mammothnation.com 